My sponsor, EcoFlow, just sent me a power kit for my studio, and I'm going to try to install it without reading the instructions. This power kit is called the EcoFlow 10 kilowatt hour independence kit. It's designed for tiny houses like my studio, but you can get a portable version for your van or whatever. And the portable version is almost identical to this tiny house version. The idea with this 10 kilowatt hour independence kit is that it will be backup for my studio in case the power company shuts off the electricity during high winds or wildfires or if there's a coronal mass ejection that wipes out the power grid or if there's a cyber attack that wipes out the power grid. So this power hub is connected to the grid and these two batteries. When the grid is up, uh, it runs into the power hub. The power hub charges both of these batteries and the grid through the power hub gives power to the studio. When the grid goes down, when they shut off the power, this automatically and instantly switches to the battery power and then my studio is run on battery power. This has an inverter that converts the battery, the DC battery, to AC power. And with solar panels, through the power unit, I can charge these batteries and I'll install the solar panels later. always read the instructions, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing up and running without going to the PDFs on the EcoFlow website. Now, the reason I think I can install this power kit without reading the instructions is because all the gear is perfectly labeled in little bags and when I installed the EcoFlow Delta Max power station and solar panels to air condition my son's playhouse, it was uh, super intuitive and I didn't read the instructions for that either. But there's one part of the independence kit that I'm a little bit nervous about and that's connecting it to the grid power. As I imagine, the installation was pretty basic. All the mounts are obvious, uh, all the power cords are obvious and labeled. I did have to move the batteries, power unit, and control panel because my air conditioner was in the way of my original placement, but you know, that was straightforward and easy. The EcoFlow website says it's plug and play, and it actually really is. I felt a little out of my league when it came time to wire the independence kit to the grid and then wire the independence kit to my studio. So it goes grid, power kit, studio. But, you know, I gave it a shot anyway. Of course, I shut down the studio's breaker at the main panel between our house and the grid. Then I figured out which wires went to and from what drew a little wiring diagram for myself, but then I chickened out and called the electrician, which is not technically reading the instructions. Alvaro came by, checked my wiring, said I was good to go, and it only cost me 185 bucks for a service visit for peace of mind. Oh, and I called EcoFlow tech support to help me set up the console, but that doesn't count as reading the directions either. The console is kind of like the instrument cluster on your car. It tells me what power is going in and what power is going out, etc.
Okay, this is the final exam. That's the studio lights right there. And I'm gonna see if the studio power still works when I flip off the grid power, the AC power from the panel. All right, so let's see. Uh, it's, it's this one, okay. Let's go. It works. It works. Okay, bring on the solar flares, bring on the cyber attacks, bring on the forest fires. Well, don't bring that one on. You know what, don't bring any of them on, but it works. I just shut the power off and it just instantly switches to the backup power from the batteries. And let's see what this says. And so this says AC out, which this, these are the batteries. Let me see how much power we got in there. It says it can run for two days and seven hours on these batteries. That's enough time to uh, finish editing and back up. EcoFlow says these things should be installed inside your tiny house or your RV, your van. So I'll build a little enclosure to keep the power kit dry, but this is Los Angeles, so I can procrastinate for probably like three months before I build the thing. Oh, and I'll install solar panels too, to charge this whole system. And that's it. Off-grid studio without reading the instructions. Uh, the links to these kits are in the description to this video. And if you want to read the instructions, they're on the EcoFlow website as well. This week on the Patreon, archival videos with director's commentary on my Patreon right there. The link is right there.